How are you guys doing? It is Metal. Welcome back to the channel, guys. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day today. I know I am. Sorry for the lack of videos lately, guys. It's been quite a few days since my last video, and my hours at work have been skyrocketing significantly, so that's why there's been lack of videos for the past few days. So let's get on with the video. Uh, so today uh, is going to be uh, about teeth, okay? So uh, I'm going to be uh, doing a review for Teeth. It's one of those uh, Dimension Extreme horror films, and I figured this will be the first one that I will discuss, and so let's get on with it. So, Teeth tells the story of a character named Dawn, who is a virgin in high school, and she develops and pretty much unknowingly uh, has a set of mutant teeth in places you don't want to know. <laughs> Pretty much in between the legs. Let's just put it at that, and I don't want to get too graphic here, but that's the kind of the plot of the movie. So, yeah, Teeth is one of those horror films that really stands out. It really, it is so unique from any other horror film out there, and I love it. It's a really good horror comedy, like pretty much as it's classified as, even though I really don't consider it a comedy too much. Now, there is like a few chuckles here and there, but for the most part, I pretty much consider it just a straight up horror film, like a supernatural horror film, at least in my opinion. So yeah, basically this movie is bloody and, uh, but for very various different, different reasons. And, uh, I just don't want to get too graphic here, but Wow, like the death scenes for each scene is just magnificently good. Uh, like, wow, like, uh, like, 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 like every single dialogue just builds up a lot of tension and suspense, and like it just, like, like this movie just scarred me for uh, for a while actually, especially to males out there. If you're watching this video. Uh, to you, to mail like to you males out there that watch this movie, you guys know what I'm talking about. You know where I'm getting at here, so <laughs> you guys know exactly where I'm getting at, and you know what I'm talking about. If you've seen the movie already, uh, it like it is tough to watch if you're a male. Well, let's just put it at that. So yeah, <laughs> single scene in this movie is just so cringy, but in a good way. It's so painful to watch, and it's just terrifying. On every single level. It is amazing. Like, this movie really, really does leave a scar on me for quite a while. And it is just painful and brutal to watch. <laughs> I have to say that the music and score for this movie is just magnificently good. And it's just incredible. Like, it is just so, so scary. I mean, the music in this movie just really builds up tension, and it really builds that that just gut-wrenching feel. It's like, wow. Like, it just goes for it. Like, this movie doesn't hold any punches. It just really goes for it. And that's what I really love about it. The first time I ever discovered Teeth was on a cable network channel called FearNet. Have you guys ever heard of that before? It's a cable network that used to exist but does not anymore. And it was basically a channel where it would pretty much air, like, all types of different horror films, like, on that specific channel that I would watch on there. And, and Teeth just so happened to be one of those movies. And it was really awesome. It was a really awesome uh, network channel. I, I really have to say that the actress, Jess Waxler, I think that's her name, who portrayed the character Dawn, was really good. Like, her acting was super good. And it was just incredible. Like, everything she did in this movie was just magnificent. And it was so, so good. And has one of the most satisfying endings in any horror film. <laughs> At least in my opinion. I don't know if anybody can agree with me on that. But it is really, really good ending. And it's like, it's so satisfying just seeing the ending. It, like... I can't really spoil it for you guys, but it's really good, and it was the perfect way to end the film, and it just, it wraps up so beautifully, it wraps up so well, and it's, it's almost flawless. This film, to me, anyway, in my, in, in my humble opinion, it's almost near flawless, like, it's awesome, it's really amazing, 
Oh, man, I can gush about this movie for hours, but I'm not going to. It's a really good time, and it, it, like, it's awesome. John Hensley gives an outstanding performance as the character Brad, who is the brother of Don. And let me just say that his character is like my second favorite character in this entire film. It like his character works for the film and it's the brother that let's just say that the they this is the kind of brother you don't want to have. <laughs> like I support of your family members, but he's a pretty horrible person in this movie. And yeah, that's really all all I have to say about him. He's like a really out like outstanding character and like he just like John Hensley just brings so much uh hatred in his character and it really works for this movie. It just it really really works. It just really sucks that Fearnet is no more and it just doesn't exist anymore and that just makes me so so sad. Like that was a great cable network channel and I'm getting totally off topic but well, wow, like, Fearnet was a great channel, and this just so happened to be one of those movies that I saw on there, and it just aired a bunch of great horror films and various different ones on there, and it also had, like, like original shows, like Holliston was on there, I used to watch Holliston a lot on there, that was a really good, uh, you know, comedic horror show, with, like, Adam Green and Joe Lynch and all that, really, really good stuff, really good times. So, yeah, <laughs> what did you guys think of T? Just let me know your thoughts down below, and I'll be sure, I will be sure to read all of your comments. So, yeah, overall, I would definitely give T definitely gets an A. I thought about an A-, minus, but, man, after I kept thinking about it and thinking about it more, it's almost guaranteed an A. So, uh, yeah, one of my, definitely one of my favorite horror comedies, even though it's not... I don't really consider it a horror comedy too much, but it, I more classified it as a supernatural horror film, in my opinion. So, yeah, so just leave all your thoughts down below in the comments section. So another thing I have to say about Jess Wexler, the actress that portrayed Dawn in this movie, her voice is just magnificently good. It's super good. It's, like, insanely good, man. Oh my gosh, like... That voice is incredible. Like, like that woman is uh, has a beautiful voice overall. It's like it's very, like it's very sexy almost, and it, like I, I like it. It's a, it's a really great voice, and I assume that's how she sounds like in real life too, and that's cool. That's awesome. Like, <laughs> yeah, like uh, Jess Wexler, incredible voice, one of the best uh, actress. Uh, like with a really good voice and yeah like that's just <laughs> what I think at least it, that's just my opinion so until next time everybody take it easy guys and take care everyone